uh, this lovely morning, Monday morning. I know that you have a lot of other places to be, but thank you for spending time with us at this Samsung event. Uh, we are very, very excited to be showcasing our latest range of home appliances products, um, leading with the Wing 3 air conditioner, uh, which I think the um, home appliances, the digital appliances team will share a little bit more later on. But I'm going to cut my introduction short. And I'm going to bring on board, on stage, uh, Mr. Gavin Yong, Head of Digital Appliances, Samsung Electronics Singapore, who will deliver a short welcome to all of you. Thank you, Steve. Very good morning, uh, value uh, with business partner, media partners. It's really great to see some familiar faces today uh, at this event. Right, I would like to thank you all for taking time to join us today. Uh, for our digital appliances launch event. So my name is Gavin and I head up the digital appliances team in Singapore uh, for Samsung Electronics. So it is our honor to have the opportunity to host all of you here today. And I would like to thank all of you for your continued support. At Samsung, we are in the business of delivering innovations that powers solutions. Over the past few years, we have been focused on delivering premium and personalized experience to consumers. Today, we are at the age of AI, where more of our everyday experiences will be powered by artificial intelligence. For Samsung, 2024 is officially the year of AI. Today, we will demonstrate how our new AI-equipped devices tap on features like AI energy and smart connectivity to deliver smarter, greener, and more convenient experiences. By doing so, we aim to empower consumers to do less and live more. Today, the team has put together a connected living showcase, which I hope will help you better understand our vision and how we empower our consumers. Lastly, with sustainability at the forefront of our technology, we will be introducing AI energy mode to more products. From the 15th of April to the 8th of May, we will be rewarding consumers who purchase our energy and water efficient appliances with greater savings, especially those that comes with AI energy. Once again, on behalf of my team at Samsung, we'd like to thank all of you here for taking time to join us here today. Thank you and I'll see you later. Thank you, Kevin. Now, as you've heard from Gavin, 2024 is the year of AI for Samsung. Uh, if you've been through our launches from Unpack earlier in January all the way to the TV launch, you've seen a lot of AI features that we are building into our products. And later on during the demonstrations itself, you'll see even more AI features that we are bringing to your homes so that you can actually live simpler in a more seamless manner and uh, in a more convenient way. But before that, I'm going to bring on board uh, Xavier Fais, uh, who is the Vice President, Air Conditioner Center of Excellence for the Samsung Electronics Southeast Asia and Oceania, who will share a little bit more about how AI will become a disruptive uh, force in bringing new innovation to our homes. Xavier Fais. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Xavier Fais. I'm Belgium. Uh, I'm active in the air conditioning business more than 32 years now. So I moved two years and a half years ago to Bangkok to support, to take care of the air conditioning business in Southeast Asia before I was working for Samsung Air Conditioning Europe. We bring innovation, we bring powerful solutions for Samsung. But what is innovation? And we have a closer look at AI, AI to power more comfort, but to take away energy consumption to empower your electricity bill. Now, uh, change. So normally we always improve, more efficient, more silent units. So small evolution, small changes. But more important for me is innovation, because innovation is disruptive, making a big, big change in our society. One of the biggest uh, disruptive uh, innovations was electricity. Uh, it gave us light, light bulbs instead of oil or candles. We had washing machine, TV, computer, so really electricity was of the, one of the big disruptive technologies in the world. It will be still today 
very important and the big changes. So we are looking to reduce CO2 emissions. Today you still use fossil fuel uh, in Europe for heating houses to making hot water for industry, using uh, fossil fuel to, for the cars. So everything will go to electricity. We have a carbon neutral uh, society. And again, electricity will be the connecting factor between all these energy sources. The second big disruptive technology for me was internet connectivity. We had first wired, then wireless, then via satellite, so we are always connected today. And if you look today, around 70% of the world population is connected to internet. That just means still one third has no connectivity to internet. So this is still growing and will make it yeah, more connected uh, society. But more important is IoT, Internet of Things. We have the devices connected, and average today, each single person in the world has two connected devices. You can say it's quite a lot. I have myself more than 30 connected devices. I have my TV, washing machine, air conditioning, my locks, uh, the temperature sensor. So everything is connected, so 30, and it's still growing. And this is the power for me, big, big change in society, disruptive technology. What will be next? What will be the next big disruptive technology? For me, it's clearly it's AI. But what do you need for that? AI size matters. You need to have large capacity of, of, of brain, of computers to work. Society is important for AI. You can see that this is the, if you see the graph, this is the power of the supercomputers. So every year it's getting more powerful, more powerful. And we can see from 2015 onwards, we had enough power to start having AI as an application with language, uh, with traffic. So it's only now, 2015, we see really scaling up capacity and power to have AI. We have size as Samsung, so we have in 2021, we installed two supercomputers. It was the 11th fastest supercomputer globally in 2021. So we have our own power to analyze, to test, to develop AI. Both of them are in Korea. We also make our own semiconductors to make our own chips. And more and more, having the supercomputer is one thing, it's the connectivity. We also bring it on device, so you have more faster AI. So we combine our development of semiconductors and AI. But electricity is disruptive, connectivity, we have connectivity. But important is also safety. So we have a NOx system, which is making sure that your data is safely held, that you respect your privacy. Because connectivity, yes, but you have to make sure you have to trust the system. It's kept in a safe way. We have smart things, apps to connect everything. The Bixby, we will see more of that today. So smart things is an app connecting all devices from Samsung, but also non Samsung. So a very open system where you can connect for your home, for your office, uh, and get different applications. Also for air conditioning and clean innovation, we launched uh, Wind Free for air conditioning where you don't have the cold draft. And then I came back when I came here two and a half years ago. Said oh, Xavier, in Asia people like cold winds. In Europe, we hate. We hate cold draft in Europe. So the first is really a big, big innovation. But now we don't need it here. But we will explain. We have both. You can have powerful cooling, but you can have comfort. A slight increase when you have it in the bedroom to have a comfortable so we think that This is some sort of innovation. We are the first to launch this wind-free technology. So let's have a look today. Enjoy the next two hours and imagine what will be next. Thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier. Sorry. Okay, just before we bring on the next speaker, can I check how many of you actually know that Samsung sells or makes air conditioning? Most of the tech media. <laughs> but we have some of our lifestyle media and our team that I see here um, as well. And I think um, today is a great opportunity for us to be introducing our next uh, our new range of, of air conditioners which is the, the wind free air conditioner itself now here to share more about our new product please put your hands together to uh, join us in welcoming uh, Kang Yong who heats up the air conditioning team in Samsung Electronics Singapore Kang Yong
Okay, hello. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, my name is Kang Yong. Okay, so I'm heading the air conditioning department in Samsung Electronics Singapore. Thank you for joining us today in this launch event. I am happy to be sharing Samsung's latest innovations for air conditioning. So now, I am proud to present to you the world's first wind-free air conditioning by Samsung. So, what does wind-free cooling mean to you? This feature option will keep you feeling cool without feeling cold. So the air conditioning equipped with 23,000 micro holes will release cool air gently and evenly to keep you cool and comfortable without the harsh cold air drops, elevating the definitions of comfort to the next level. Now, you can stay comfortably cool just the way you want it. Feeling too cool and chilling, switch your air conditioning to windbreak. If you can't wait for your room to feel cool faster, you can have a choice. Turn on fast cooling to cool down the room in no time. Whatever comfort means to you, we got it covered. In our world today, many of us emphasize on the need to save energy for the benefits of the environment and our well-being. As such, we strive to achieve energy savings smarter and easier for everyone. The wind-free air conditioning comes with an AI energy mode that helps consumers to save energy without compromising on comfort. Not only it is functional when it comes to comfort, it is also very practical when it comes to energy saving. Samsung Smart Things enables you to live in connectivity so that you can do less and live more. Now, you can control and monitor your aircon and appliances at your convenience. Smart Things connectivity allows for a single point of control for your home at your fingertips. I hope you will enjoy today's session. I will see you shortly for the experience tour. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kang Yong. Okay, that wraps up our quick presentations by Gavin, Xavier, and Kang Yong. Next up, um, I'm going to invite all of you to stand up and join us on a journey with our wind-free uh, tech. I invite everyone to come on over um, closer. Alright, so we have a Good day, good day everyone. Hope everyone's having a good time so far. I am Jess, the product manager for air conditioners. And this is Karine. Together we will show you how our latest technology works. Let me just fix the echo. Everyone can hear me clearly? Yeah? yeah. Thank you. Okay, so Samsung multi-split wind-free air conditioner will be launching in three systems namely two, three, and four. What you see here are two indoor units of 9K BTU size, and we do have a 12K BTU that comes in exactly the same size as this one. Now, we also have the 18K and 24K respectively. They, you will see them later in one of our zones. They come in a longer length because of the capacity. And then what we have here is the outdoor unit for compressor 2, system 2. And then this one is system 3. And system 4 also comes in the same size as this one. Okay, now we can talk about the features. We do have the fast cooling technology. And normally when we turn on the air first, maybe the room will start with a warm temperature or you may come from, a, from the outside with a very hot weather, especially here in Singapore. So you tend to expect the air conditioner to cool the room at the shortest possible time. And that's exactly how the fast cooling technology works. 
And just like how all the other air conditioner works, they, they spread the air, the cold air coming from this area, which is the flap being opened. And normally, some people would actually enjoy the cold breeze being directly blown onto them. Some of them, they really enjoy staying right in front of the aircon. Actually, you may feel free to experience it. Currently, it's very, it's very cold. It's directly blowing onto me. I can really feel it. But I guess most of us will be able to relate. After quite some time, we don't want the feeling already of being uncomfortably very cold, right? And that is where the wind-free technology becomes the most relevant. When free, unlike fast cooling, it operates with the flap closed. So this one is operational. Currently, we can see a small dot here which, which says it's already working at a wind free mode. The air, the air is coming from the entire panel. So the air is distributed evenly across all the 23,000 micro holes here. So coming from here in the front up until the panel. We can see that the air will be gently blowing rather than the, this one with a very strong rate. And this kind of technology is very relevant and addresses um, three relatable pain points that we all experience. So the first one being you want to stay comfortably cool but then you hate the air being blown directly onto you. Sometimes it can be very uncomfortable to the point of having headache or like body pains. Number two would be, in the middle of the night when you're fast asleep, probably the air could be very cold as well, and you are forced to get up from your bed, get a thicker blanket, or maybe adjust the temperature. But by the time, your sleep is already interrupted, and we don't want that. Number three, this one, maybe most of us don't realize this, but when we're ex exposed to extreme cold, our skin tends to be very dry and irritated. With a kind of technology that wind-free cooling provides, we can be protected from losing too much moisture from our skin, and it, keep, it keeps our skin from being dry and irritated. And with all of these, this is how we elevate the definition of comfort cooling. Now, we can move on along here to see a video that summarizes what we just talked about. So here we can see her feeling very hot during a workout. So fast cooling is the best option. It comes with a bigger fan and a longer unit to support this kind of technology. And it blows up up to 15 meters far, which means it's wider and faster in terms of cooling. And then when it gets very cold, we switch on to wind-free mode. You can see that the air is blown onto the 23,000 micro holes and the wind is blown very gently and evenly distributed. This also comes with the good sleep feature. This one adjusts the temperature automatically when you sleep. That's the optimal temperature for good night's sleep, so you can enjoy the night. Alright, so actually we've heard a lot about comfort cooling already, but we can move on further here because our technology still comes with more unique features when it comes to maintaining cleanliness and hygiene. So it does it in two ways. First is outside, which means keeping the air clean and safe for you, around you. And number two would be inside the fan coil unit, keeping the heat exchanger dry and clean inside the air conditioner. It has a 4-in-1 filter that comes with a PM2.5 technology and it acts like an air purifier built in. So it's antibacterial, antivirus, anti-dust, and allergens. 
And then we also have a very unique auto clean feature. This one washes and dries the heat exchanger to prevent it from building up moist and odor and dust inside. This is actually a very unique feature that is a default setting. So it automatically turns on when we turn off our air conditioner on fan mode. And then lastly, of course, on smart control, our Samsung Win-Free Multi-Split Air Conditioner can be connected to smart things, which allow not only for control but also for monitoring energy usage. It comes with the welcome cooling feature. This one gives you a notification when you're already near your house. If you want to turn on your aircon so you can come in and just feel cool instantly. It also comes with a voice control via Bixby. And of course, last but not the least, we do have the AI Energy. This one allows for monitoring of electricity consumption and also controlling and managing your usage. It learns your usage patterns and room conditions. It adjusts automatically so it can save up energy up to 28%. And that wraps up all the unique features of the Samsung Winfree Multi-Split Air Conditioner. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll, I'll turn you over now to my colleague to the Connected Home with AI. Okay. Very good morning to everyone again. Welcome to the Connected Home with AI Zone. My name is Steven. Together with me is Clarice. We are from the Home Appliances team and over there with us is Gary from the mobile devices team. So over here, um, we will be introducing um, the Samsung's uh, latest AI products um, that will be launching in 2024, um, ranging from the four-door refrigerator to the washer and dryer combo, mobile devices, wind-free aircon, of course, the vacuum cleaners, and the QLED TV. So... Um, do less, um, live more. That's our vision to bring change and value um, to our lives with uh, connectivity and uh, stunning technology. So first up, this is our new four-door French door um, with AI Family Hub. It comes with, uh, this is everything um, where um, AI intuitive begins. Um, it links to all things food, as well as this refrigerator links to, connects to all the appliances in your home. For example, uh, it can connect to the uh, laundry machines. So when your laundry is completed, you will send a notification to the AI family hub here. And let's say if your main door has a camera, um, you can also, you know, when you have a visitor, um, you'll be notified of your visitor and you can view who is coming at your main door through the AI family hub. So what is an AI Family Hub? AI Family Hub is our 21-inch large LCD touchscreen display. Um, it, connects, it, it connects to all the uh, connectivities that, uh, that uh, you have. Um, from your, you can recommend recipes for your cooking. You can also play videos, music, and it also you know, can mirror um, your, your videos from your mobile phones, smartphones. So next is our AI Vision Insight. It comes with a built-in camera that can identify 33 fresh food items okay, when you uh, take, take, uh, put in or take out items from the refrigerator. So as you can see, Clarice just took out a pepper from the refrigerator. And over here it shows. And this AI Hub will also show you all the food in your refrigerator compartment and which can also be shared on your smart things on your mobile phone so when you're doing shopping outside you will know you know what's inside your refrigerator and what do you need to buy or not to buy and with our ai energy mode you can save energy up to 15 percent 
Next, this is our bespoke AI laundry combo. This is a washing machine and dryer all in one, um, saving you all the conveniences, I mean the hassles of having to move your laundry from your washing machine to a dryer. And uh, it comes with a 7-inch LCD touchscreen display. It's intuitive. It actually allows you to select, you know, the wash, washing cycle or your drying cycle over here. And you can also let you make selections easily because of the 7-inch large screen display as well as, you know, um, tells you, you know, what is the detergent level um, that um, it's inside the uh, auto, dis uh, auto dispenser. Mm -hmm. And this machine has a peak capacity of 25 kg wash and a 15 kg drying capacity. Unlike all other combos that you're currently seeing in Singapore market, this washing machine and uh, dryer machines actually comes with a heat pump dryer. Currently, all the combo in the market is comes with a condenser dryer. So with heat pump dryer, it has better fabric care as well as uh, better energy efficiency. Okay, and uh, with, of course, with AI energy mode, this machine will save you up to 60% on the washing mode or up to 30% for drying mode. So with that, I'll hand over to Gary, who will share with you more about our latest mobile devices. Hello. Yeah, so over here itself at this zone, I will share with you more towards our smartphone the latest S24 series that was launched. So S24 series is the first smartphone in the world that is packed with Galaxy AI functionality. So what does Galaxy AI does is to make it more seamless for our consumer in terms of browsing the net, doing photo editing, and if you want to search for stuff, followed by breaking the language barrier. I believe that is the most important one. So let me demonstrate some of the features to you all in relates to what our customers usually use the Galaxy AI for. So allow me to connect the phone to our monitor, our TV over here. Okay, the very first functionality that generally most of our Samsung consumer utilize will be called circle to search. So basically a story to tell, right, is that um, Previously, when I go out shopping with my girlfriend, she saw a dress that is very nice on a, another lady. But of course, we do not dare to ask the person, oh, where do you buy the dress from? So what we do is that we just need to launch out our camera, point it towards the object or the subject that you wish to search for, press and hold on the home button, and within a short while, you will be able to do a circle on that subject or object that allows you to do searching. So I have a photo over here that is taken. So by pressing and hold on this picture itself, I circle on the dress. Instantly, it tells me that, oh, this dress is actually from the bed. Yeah. So other than searching for items, you are able to do it for places of interest as well. So over here, I have a photo of the Canton Tower. By pressing and hold on the home button, circle on the tower itself. The best part is that it provides me the reviews, the place name, and even the ticketing price. So all this is powered by Google. So unlike Google Lens itself that allows you to do it on stationary picture, you are able to do it on videos, you are able to do it on TikTok as well with our circle to search. So secondly, another function that is widely utilized by our consumer itself is our photo assist. Over here, I have a photo of the Disneyland. When I click on the pencil icon, right, it will, you'll be able to see that the bottom left corner there is the three star icon. By clicking on it, and I do not want the few people to be in my picture, so what I can do is that I draw around them. After they are selected, press and hold on the drawn subject or object. I'll be able to see the eraser icon. By clicking on it, I click on generate. It will help me to remove unwanted subject or object in my picture. 
And the best part about photo assist is that it will generate things that is related to the picture itself so that it doesn't make your photo looks a bit off. So this is the original picture. This is after I used photo assist. That, so everything is seamless packed into the phone. You do not need to download like third party application to do so. So lastly, it's out about breaking language barrier. If you wish to close more deals with clients that is not speaking in your primary language, or you wish to do a reservation at certain restaurant that is speaking in another language, when you have a SIM card in your phone, launch the call icon. Top right corner itself, you will see the three dots. Click on settings. Over here under live translate, you will be able to select 13 different kind of languages that you wish to translate to or from. So over here itself is the different languages that you can do. One example is that if you go to Korea, you do not know how to speak Korean. What you can set is that for the other party, you set as Korean. So when I'm speaking in English, the person will be listening in Korean. And whereby when the person is speaking in Korean, I will be listening it in English. This will break the language barrier between um, different countries. Yeah. Okay, so of course, we do have a Tab S9 Ultra over here. Since Galaxy AI itself is a widely used functionality, we even brought it down to our predecessors, such as S23 series, 23 FE, Flip 5, Fold 5, and even our Tab S9 series. So this is our S9 Ultra, the largest tablet that Samsung have launched, 14.6 inch. So imagine doing all this uh, photo editing on your tablet itself. Having a larger screen itself will allow you to find fine-tuning the details of the picture itself. Yeah, so I will pass back to my colleague over here. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. So, by the way, lastly, this will be a new monitor that will be launching soon, so more information itself will be shared. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, let me come back to uh, some uh, new products like the vacuum cleaner. First up is the our new Jack AI. This is our most powerful vacuum stick with up to 350 watt suction power. Okay. And you also come with an AI cleaning mode where you can automatically identify the floor type and adjust the, uh, the suction power accordingly. For example, when you are vacuuming a carpet, you will increase the, the, the suction power to the maximum as compared to hard floor. Okay. And of course, with the all-in-one clean station here, you will be able to uh, hygienically empties the dust canister and uh, traps all the dust particles up to 99.99%. Next, this is our jackpot combo. This is Samsung's uh, uh, robot vacuum with mop functions. And uh, this is our clean station steam where it will clean all the dust from the robot to this station here okay. and it comes with a 4.5 liter fresh water canister and the 3.5 liter wastewater canister here and with the clean station um, not only will it uh, clean the uh, the robot itself um, you will also clean the robot um, by cleaning the uh, cleaning the, uh, the the mop the mop pad as well as uh, steaming it with high steam to the mop pad you will actually remove the order as well as uh, sanitize the mop pad up to 99.99 percent of bacteria and with ai floor detect same thing the robot will be able to detect the floor types and adjust automatically adjust the uh, the vacuum power accordingly and with the powerful spinning mop of up to 170 rpm the mop will be able to clean your floor um, thoroughly and uh, and remove all the uh, stubborn stains on the floor. Okay. So last but not least, let's move on to the last item here, which is our 65-inch new QLED 8K TV. Okay. It comes with AI picture. Um, it comes with AI picture. It gives out better picture quality, eight times more powerful with upscaling with 8K AI upcoming Pro. 
Next is the AI sound that it comes with it. And uh, with AI sound, it provides better sound quality for clear movie dialogue with Active Voice Amplifier Pro. And it also comes with the AI energy mode which saves energy up to 25%. So with that, you have come to the end of uh, our presentation on Connected Home with AI. Um, we are very excited um, with you know, the upcoming range of uh, AI products that will bring convenience you know, to the lives of our consumers. Um, like what we say, you know, do less, live more. So with, with this, um, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, we hope to see you uh, back here you know, for more you know, um, product understanding uh, later on. But next, let's move on to the next zone, which is the one Samsung Connected Living. Thank you. Hi, Chu. She's Esther. He's Kirby. Both of them are product managers from the digital appliance team. Together, we will walk through this space where Samsung devices integrate seamlessly, allowing you to have more time for yourself and your family. This zone is designed to mimic a studio apartment completed with a living room, laundry room, and kitchen. Now, ima this zone, now imagine that you return home feeling exhausted. With smart Samsung SmartThings, we can control the integrated smart devices seamlessly. Third-party brands included. Bixby, welcome. The aircon is on, TV is on, so we are like. Now, my Buds 2 Pro is paired to the TV and my phone. If a call comes in and when my Buds 2 Pro is connected to the TV, the connection will auto-link to the phone. Once the phone conversation is over, it will auto-link back to the TV. This is auto-switch, easy and seamless. Now feeling relaxed sitting on the sofa watching the TV enjoying the aircon. If we need to change the temperature of the aircon, we, we can do so via the SmartThings app. I also have a doorbell over here. Notifications appears on my TV and phone. By clicking on the notification message, I can see who is at the door and unlock the door via the SmartThings app without moving away from my sofa. In addition to receiving notification on the TV, we can also display a 3D map view of our connected house, all thanks to SmartThings enhancement. Map view offer us an efficient overview of the connected devices in the house. Gone are the days where we need to scroll through the long list of connected devices trying to find out where they are. Creating a 3D map view of the house can be easily done just by stepping a floor plan and position the smart devices accordingly. As you can see from here, this is a 3D map view. When you toggle the energy filter, you can be able to see the actual electrical consumption and of the devices and, but, and you can see it on the map. Now let's talk about SmartThings Energy. With SmartThings Energy, we can monitor and track energy production, energy storage and energy consumption. With AI Energy Mode on Samsung devices, we can achieve substantial savings for our energy bill. For example, up to 70% for the washer, up to 28% for the air conditioner, up to 25% for the TV. By the way, this is the latest AI TV. How AI energy mode works on the TV is that it can detect the surrounding light levels automatically and adjust the brightness accordingly to optimize your viewing experience. Next, we move on to the laundry room. Hi Esther. As a working mom with kids, how do you manage your chores with smart things so that you can free up more time for the kids? Hi, as you guys know, as a working mom, it's kind of challenging to juggle between work, household chores, and also taking care of the kids. So I actually do my household when I'm in office. So the fun fact is that I have my dryer, washer, and also robot vacuum um, all connected through our smart things app. And with that, right, I just have to set, set a schedule for them to start working by 5.30, for instance. So actually by the time I reach home, um, all my laundry is done and also the floors are passing clean before my kids come and mess it up. And I have more time with my kid and also at the end of the day, I have more time for myself. Yeah. 
Ensured by Esther, she has a preset routine to do her laundry and cleaning anytime, anywhere. This routine is called side chop. Let me initiate that. Ah, and the washer dryer is on. So we just a click on the button on my phone, the appliances will start working on its own when I'm in office. <laughs> right. I identify my 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 um, usage pattern. So I can simply select the service provider that uh, I use, say for instance, Epic Services or Apple uh, Services. And in that way, on the on our app, we'll be able to show the amount of energy usage cost per month by daily, weekly, and monthly basis. So this really helps me to save a lot of, uh, of my time and cost. Thank you for sharing how you manage your chores anytime, anywhere. How about preparing meals for your family? How have smart things helped you in this aspect? Oh, I'm actually glad that you brought up this point. So let me introduce our latest family hub refrigerator with AI vision. So quite simply, with what I didn't mention earlier on, this is our latest family hub refrigerator with AI vision. So every time we come back from the grocery, uh, and all the items I put in is identified in our food list on the refrigerator. And whatever that I want to remove it out from the refrigerator, it will also identify from in our food list. So this is a very simple identification from an AI point of view. But what's interesting for a working mom is that I'm actually able to uh, find out a recipe that can utilize the ingredients from my from my refrigerator. So by going into the food list where they say all the ingredients I have in my refrigerator, I can just pick what I want to cook for the day and just pick all the selection of recipe. So maybe I feel like lasagna for the night. I just go into lasagna recipe. It gives me the sense of how I can prepare lasagna. And if the recipe utilized oven, it has a direct button that can set the setting in the recipe from, uh, from the recipe to our Samsung built-in oven. I saw some impressive faces, huh? <laughs> so, so with that, right, I'm able to prepare interesting recipe for my myself and also for the family. And not only that. Uh, using utilizing my Galaxy phone when I go grocery shopping, I can also assess the food list on my phone. So I will not be I pay at the cashier, oh I forgot my onions or I forgot my garlic. So this kind of thing will help me to actually save less time when I do grocery run. And at the same time I won't overbuy things. So it helps me reduce the usage. And I think one is in interesting fact that I can use this is that <laughs> I will know who steal my chocolate. And when I'm at grocery run, I'll say, okay, I must refill my silver chocolate. Before I get yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you, Esther. Now you mentioned about the oven. Let's visit Kirby's house to see his bespoke cooking appliances. Hi, Kirby. Hi, Leo. Welcome to my kitchen. Right, so, um, so this is today, you know, I have this uh, appliances along the side of my home. So I'm actually very uh, happy to actually be using this oven. Right. So because of this oven, uh, you know, it allows me to actually prepare many different dishes. You know, I'm not an avid cook, you know, neither is my wife. So because of this uh, bespoke oven, like what uh, Esther uh, mentioned earlier, is I can actually send settings to the oven directly using, you know, smart things there. So once the recipe is in, then I can prepare dishes that I am able to impress my uh, in-laws over the weekend, right? So one other dish that I would like to actually highlight to you and to you guys is that there's this local cook feature. So you can open the oven, you can see. There's two different uh, cooking uh, areas. So there's an upper zone and there's a lower zone. So because my wife and I have different taste buds, so I can actually prepare two different dishes uh, with two different cook settings at the same time. So it's very convenient of this. Right? And because of this um, one, you know, one Samsung connected to the link, it actually integrates all my cooking appliances in, uh, into an app. So it allows you know, cooking to be more convenient and of course very much more interesting and enjoyable for my wife and I. Right. So moving on to this uh, newly designed hall, right? You can see that there's actually four burner zones. So these two burner zones, right, uh, can actually be combined into one single light zone. So as I combine the zones together, it allows me to use different various uh, cookware. The shape and sizes can be different, and also 
and actually this variety will take. So it allows me to actually cook more and the dishes will cook more evenly. You know, they have like few sticks and a set of sticks here and they can keep uh, more evenly. And then as you can see, if I turn on the hob, and that's the temperature. Oh, when you're on the hob, yes. the hood is also on? Yeah, that's right. Oh, so you can observe that. So uh, the hood is actually very intelligent. It's also connected to the hob. So what I've done is I've actually preset the hob to turn on, uh, uh, the hood to turn on, sorry, when my hob is actually on. So likewise, if I turn it off, the wow, hood will so also turn it on as well. So in addition, you know, if I would like to actually preset my hood, to actually only turn off maybe at a specific timing, say 10 minutes after I turn off the hob, I can do so. Whether it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, why do I do that? Uh, it's actually to actually allow the hood to fully extract the fume, the smoke, and the grease, right? After that, I'm done with cooking. You know, sometimes after you cook, the, the smell still lingers in the kitchen. You don't want that. So you will allow the food to still consume money. You don't have to come back and then turn it off. It's more of the convenience. So ever since installing, you know, the, um, you know these things, appliances, right? Uh, I feel very much inspired to actually cook more, try more recipes using the sense of food app. So, sending recipes and all that, making my cooking life much more easier because I have to eat at home as well. Yeah. So, uh, after I've done cooking, right, I will use my S24, you know, the Galaxy uh, S24 Ultra, and actually take photos of my food. I will prepare and uh, change some of the reflections, shadows, and also different placement. I can actually shift the food, right, from maybe some one corner to another to make it look more presentable and also Instagram ready. Oh, are these the photos you're talking about? Uh, yeah, those are prepared uh, over the many weekends for my friends and uh, in laws, of course. So, um, this is the photos I downloaded to the family hub. So, yeah, as you can see, right, um, to me, the family hub is not just a page, it's actually designed for family fun. So, I can actually input uh, tasks, I can create memos. Uh, to share with my wife and also uh, sync up everyone's calendar so I can actually know, you know what, what are they doing and what they're doing. Yeah, so speaking about calendar, right, I have uh, actually very work, uh, important work email that I need to address, but um, I usually do it on the laptop, so I'm not going to do it on my phone. Oh, hi Kirby, are you aware that you can actually have a desktop night experience just by connecting your Samsung phone to the smartphone? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Ah, let me show you. Sure. This is wireless Dex. Add in a keyboard, add in a mouse, and it feels like working on the laptop or the desktop. Wow, I see. Okay, beyond these lifestyle experiences, Samsung remains committed to provide health and safety features. One notable use case would be fall detection. So this is a page where you can find more information about the fall detection. I bought my grandma a watch six. If she fell, the watch is able to detect the, the she falling and automatically call the emergency contact, which is me. Upon receiving the emergency notification, I am able to remotely monitor the situation via link cameras. Additionally, I can also unlock the door remotely when the rescue teams arrive. Everyone, we have completed the one Samsung Connected Living Experience Tour. Thank you for your time and presence. I hope the tour has provided you a comprehensive understanding of Samsung Smart Ecosystem, where all compatible devices are connected seamlessly, allowing us to do less, live more. Feel free to approach us if you have further questions. Thank you.